I'd call to order the Committee of the Whole meeting of Monday, December 2nd, 2019. And we'll start with roll call. <coughs> Trustee Gately? Here. Trustee Martinez? Here. Trustee Carroll? Here. Trustee Curtis? Here. Trustee Lowry? Here. Trustee Gaffino? Here. Trustee, oh, Mayor Berman? Here. <laughs> audience comments, none trustee comments? I think there's audience comments. Oh, there are? Yeah. I didn't uh, see any. Did, oh, later, Abel. Please come up to the uh, lectern and state your name and address, and we'll listen to you. Three minutes. Three minutes. Uh, good evening. I'm Corrine Pirog. I live at 467 South Jefferson Street in Batavia. Uh, thank you for allowing me to uh, address you. Um, I'd like to introduce myself uh, as a candidate for Kane County Board Chair. I think it's very important for the village trustees to have an opportunity to meet the person that they may be voting for. I'm excited about this opportunity to run. I am a Democrat and uh, have lived in Kane County for over 20 years. I've been active in the community. I've served on the St. Charles School Board, which up until last year uh, had the lowest tax rate uh, for school districts in Kane County. And now East Aurora has uh, beaten us out. So curious to see how that happened. Um, I also serve on as vice chair, um, finance chair of the Northeastern Illinois Area Agency on Aging, which is the largest provider of grant funding in the state of Illinois. Uh, we serve seven counties, um, about 650,000 seniors. So it's, a, it's an important organization, well served here by senior services here in Kane County. Um, I'm also a small business owner. I work for not-for-profits, developing uh, leadership transition for them, working with their boards, and uh, working on their, um, oh, their long-term plans. The reason why I'm running uh, for Kane County Board Chair is because I've realized that the current leadership is uh, sometimes argumentative and not collaborative. It has also come uh, to my knowledge that the current uh, chair does not work collaboratively with the jewels of our county, which are our municipalities and cities. And this is something that I feel very strongly about. You are the heartbeat of our communities of who we are. And in order to really serve you, the county has to work with you and speak with you. I'm also very concerned about our, envir our environmental issues. Uh, the water table out west of Randall Road is documented. It is compromised. Uh, probably in about another 15, 20 years, uh, we're going to be really questioning what our water sources are coming from. And taking a look at the Fox River as being our only sustainable source of water that has got to be steward. Uh, we also have to make sure that the aquifers west of Randall Road are protected and well managed and maintained. You cannot have future growth in this county without having water supply. So that is a huge issue that uh, is being well addressed um, and been very well documented, but it is not being discussed at the county level. Um, so I'm running to help our environment. I'm ready, running to help our municipalities. I want to make sure that there is a proper steward funding so that our seniors and our children can be well provided for and sustained for economic growth here in Kane County. Uh, so thank you very much for the opportunity to uh, introduce myself. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. I have this and I'll leave this in the back table if you're interested. Thanks. Thank you very much. Yep. <clears throat> Any other audience comments? Uh, we have one item for discussion, Mr. Bosco. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Item number one and the only item on the agenda for the Committee of the Whole tonight is our annual meeting schedule. Uh, by law, we post a meeting schedule for all of our, our board meetings for uh, by January 1st. Uh, in front of you, you have your village board, Committee of the Whole, plan commission, and trustee meeting uh, agendas uh, scheduled for next uh, year. The interesting thing is for the first time in a long time I, that I can remember, we only have one holiday that falls on a meeting night. Uh, that would be Labor Day. So at this point, what we're looking for the board is if there are any dates on the schedule ahead of time that you feel are 
uh, worth changing or looking or canceling a meeting for a certain uh, uh, for a certain reason, you can do that now, and we can approve this at our next meeting as the final uh, schedule. As of right now, we're just recommending that it's the the just Labor Day as that falls on a holiday. <laughs> I'm fine Any with cut? that. Yeah, I'm fine with it. Looks good. Looks good to me. Yeah. That looks to me like uh, you got a positive uh, approach here. <laughs> yep, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Well, very good. Thank you very much. Entertain a motion to adjourn for you, Amy. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? We're out of here.